Okay, here we have a large Hexbug Nano Habitat layout set that's been built to give the bugs a real challenge as they have to try and solve a maze. So they'll all start in this main playground area and they'll all have to get to, if they're lucky, one, two or three of them will get to this very end hex cell at the back here. And to get there, there's a lot of mathematical odds involved, but as you can imagine, some of the cells you go into and there are six exits and the merry ground in the middle. So there's a one in six chance of leaving by a particular cell in the right, uh, in the right direction. Ultimately, they've got to get to this hex cell and they can get to it by many, many means. There are some friendly gates. It's not all uh, Mulmay gates. I have this one line here that gets back to the very beginning. There's a couple that get back to the beginning just to keep the bugs circulating and feeding through. But ultimately, they get to this hex cell and they've then got a chance to do 50-50 to get a chance to go past the giant robot center to raise the flags to give us all a visual clue that they're getting on the way. 50-50 again, 50-50 again, and if they get it right, they get into the final hex cell and uh, they'll be declared a winner. So I've got nearly 30 bugs here. They've all got various stages of battery power. So uh, anything that goes flat during the match will of course be uh, ejected. But 30 are gonna go in and start, and let's just see how it goes. There are no level changes, no climbs except for in this one, but there are, as you can see down the end, the new playground play pieces. So there are seesaws, merry-go-rounds, horizontal and vertical rollers. There are quite a few hex cells that have got paddles in and or plugs. That plug seems to already be struggling. We may have a, a non-starter there, it might be 29 starting. We'll come back to him and just see how he does. Um, so we have seesaws, merry-go-rounds, horizontal and vertical rollers. And in a couple of the cells, we've got a couple of festive decorations. We've got a frosty snowman on a spring, top left. And near the end, we've got ourselves a drummer in his drum. Now this area is actually quite devious because it's actually a, a real dead end. It's a real limbo area. So they're not really in the right area when they go down there. Okay, so I'm just feeding these guys in. This brown bug is one of my newest, rarest bugs. I've never had a brown bug before. It's got a really nice orange centre. And uh, the orange bugs are also some of my favourites. Let's uh, keep getting these set in. Now we've already got one red guy that's reasonably close. Oh, and just as I mentioned it, we've got a purple and a blue. But now in the uh, final cell already, with these guys have a chance, with the blue bug already having a go. Could we already have an early winner? We already have an early winner. So that's actually a blue race bug. So I'll uh, put these other guys in here. I'll uh, take them out and line them up. So I'll put these set flags. So those mathematicians are amongst us. Some of the guys have already escaped the uh, arena. Got a real lock jam over here. And then we'll just put these guys all back in the uh, beginning area. So those mathematical ones are all here. I'm going to try and catch the bugs up to my project. You realise how quite difficult this has actually been. Because a lot of these are 1 in 6, 1 in 6, 1 in 6. That reindeer didn't mean to fall over, he's not for helping them. And then even when they get through to the uh, final cell, they've got a 50 50, a 50 50, and a 50 50. So quite a few coin flips involved there. So this purpose is going to demonstrate what's more commonly going to happen. And not only did he not succeed to win, he's going down the, uh, the line all the way back to the beginning. So this blue guy really did very quickly see a really good early win. I've got a couple of bugs that have fallen out. I'll give him a chance. This yellow bug, it looks like a white bug. A bit intermittent. Not running quite, quite how it should be. Got a few batteries that are a little bit flat in different pair of stages. Okay, so, as you can see, they're uh, having quite a bit of fun running around the place. Some of them are stuck in the merry-go-rounds, some are on the sides. The warm-way gates are actually by the Santa Clauses, the little Santa Clauses there. That came out for the Christmas practice, December 2012. This is going to be the last video I do in 2012. 2013 have a lot more planned. 
as you can see I've got a lot more of these construct habitat systems and a lot of these playground pieces and that's something I think that's really fantastic that it's sort of done in 2012 so you've introduced a whole new uh, type of play and challenge for the dogs there's a real log jam going on here, good push of war this is one of the rarer mazes that I've done without any battle arenas. I like to have the battle arenas in the where they're pushing each other out. But I just wanted to check that the bugs have still got their uh, wits about them and are actually able to solve the mazes and to see how challenging the maze can be. So I've put the bugs in the last cell but one. And you can see what I've done here. I've angled with a couple of peg lugs in the construct system, so it's quite difficult for the bugs to even get into this area. But even before they get to the 50-50 arena, they've got a real challenge ahead of them. So it's not as simple as 1 and 6, 1 and 6, 1 and 6, 1 and 2, 1 and 2, because things like these complicate the flow and the actual routes even further. I fire in certain cases that they'll loop back into that purple out that is done. In this situation I've deliberately played to the little snare where they can lose themselves in there for quite quite some time. So it's a real uh, sin bin kind of area where they'll just have to sit there turn out before they get a chance to find eventually their way out back into the uh, merry-go-round and then find their merry way. So we've got a real log jam in here. I'm going to uh, have to free this because I can just see but this is not going to free itself. This is the only disadvantage of the concept system when you have lots of bugs. You can have some really fantastic, neat ideas. However, if the guys get themselves... Now they didn't get pushed out, so I'm trying to be a little bit fair to them, but at the same time, you clear this area. So if they do get themselves too, much, too many of them in one area, they can absolutely uh, log jam themselves because they are themselves slightly wedged and their noses can uh, shuffle, shuffle. We've got a white bug here, unlucky, the red bug's all to lose back, now that white bug really had a good chance there. I'm going to reset the flags, even though he's not done himself out yet, unless he's really clever and turns himself over, it's unlikely. But it was, uh, it was a very close one there, that white bug very, very close second with one decision at the end that he didn't make quite correct. Then he got himself out of the track. White bug trying it again. I'm not sure if it's the same one or not. There were two in that area on my last look. And as you can see, I've got a few bugs that are absolutely identical. It's a little bit hard to track sometimes. Certainly the white bugs are making a good show, making up for their uh, friend here that's not managed to get him in, in the race this time. Okay, so we've got another white bug going through and didn't get a chance for that purple again the loop back's got them now i'm also trying to keep an eye out for in the play area to see whether any bug actually manages to go under all three horizontal rollers and the two seesaw bridges that i've uh, set up just just out of interest just to see whether they actually do like to uh, play on these uh, seesaws and then going under the rollers etc Quite a few guys near the end again. That black bug shows wrong. Okay, here's another situation which I may have to clear. Again, it's because they're wedges, slight and wedge shape. I'm really hoping that that white bug gets uh, with a little help from the pushing from the green bug that's uh, getting in his best to really help free that log jam. But if it doesn't clear within a few seconds more, I will clear that and put the guys back this way and uh, have to wish them luck. See what happens. There's not too much pushing out of the um, arena, which is quite good. Again, that's uh, primarily occurs with the battle cells, which I haven't got in this map, in this habitat set today. Okay, I'm going to feed these guys, but I'm not going to uh, help them find their way in here. I'm just resetting them a little bit. So even though we had an early win by blue, there does seem to be some real difficulties for the guys to find their way to the final, final cell and to themselves winner two and winner three. 
and I think that just goes to show how much of a challenge this load is. And even though there are 28 bugs in play, 27 minus the uh, first winner, but even with 27 bugs all randomly going forwards, right or left, and interacting with each other and jostling, there goes a purple bug, we've got a good chance, and fail at the end. The last 50 50, and we've got it wrong. Now that's the sneaky thing, you don't get to see that very often. We did a little loop back in the, uh, in the wide split junction. Sometimes you see that also when I set it up in a stitch with chicane. And uh, certainly I've seen bugs that were destined for a one way flip track that actually looped around. Maybe this black guy will do it to show us how. Nope. This white guy, nope. But I've seen them loop around again. And this red guy, unlucky. Again. They're getting quite close, they're missing this first one quite often, the second one they're getting past quite often, and that's a real shame. This is the cool thing I always do, this orange guy's going that way as well, I'm going to help him. But I like to have one line linking them all the way back to the beginning. Partly to feed uh, the playground area, because of course that will empty otherwise, because all the bugs are sort of motivated to come this way. But also because I think it's sort of fitting, so if you think about the monitor mazes of Greek and uh, Roman mythology where they actually have to go through uh, a challenge it can't all be good news so that's a bit of bad news possibly the robot Santa isn't as uh, friendly as you, you might think it looks possibly he's actually uh, our festive minotaur in this maze and he's scaring them off maybe what I need to do is to put some uh, hex bug food out maybe this, uh, these batteries here will encourage them to uh, to get to the end, because at the end of the day, they need their batteries. So now they can perhaps get the snip of the power. This is a real jam. And uh, I can't think of a way of being any fairer here, but to throw them back into the uh, star playground. We're going to save these three guys. So we've got quite a few guys on the end. There's a white, a couple of yellows, that white's had a quick little go. Didn't even get past the uh, first 50 50, and unluckily. He's uh, going back, the yellow didn't even get a chance. He's uh, decided to go back in and cover a little bit. Let's see how he progresses. Okay, so the playground has got a lot of bugs on their side. For some reason they're uh, not so able to put themselves up today. But possibly because they've got a new, slightly more padded tablecloth. And um, I'm wondering whether the uh, the cells are, the hex bug cells are vibrating just a little bit uh, more than they would normally. Not, not changing characteristics of the, uh, the basis just a little bit. Put a little wedge here again, we're going to free that one bug because he was uh, almost definitely blocked. He's got overtaking going on there, so it should be. These bugs should get along and he should be able to overtake each other in the corridors. It's not like a heat hole going on here, but it's likely that we're going to get pushed out and I'll have to put it back in. Okay, so we've got a white and yellow in the end. That white is going all the way back to the beginning. So this yellow can pick himself up. He's got a chance. He's heading the right way. I really hope I don't get a, a second winner on its side. And there he goes. Why did it himself? He's doing good. And we have a second place winner. I think the, uh, the batteries, and he went straight for them, is really encouraging the guys to, uh, to get themselves down here now. Just keeping an eye out for some log guns. I've certainly got the old bug that's fallen out. Let's just clear this one a little bit out of the way. Probably just whilst I lean and put the camera up quite so much here, because um, it's, uh, it's a fair reach over there. So I really like the uh, concept system. I really like the uh, ability to plot one of these merry-go-rounds right in the middle of cell. Because one thing that the hex bugs like to do, some of them are quite sneaky at just going straight. So yeah, they, they wiggle, they wobble, they go right, they go left. And they jostle around, but a lot of the times they don't like to just go straight. And uh, I don't like that. I like the fact that they've actually got to uh, have a good, get themselves dizzy, have a good, Hunt around. Sometimes having to 
lock themselves to get them to get out of the uh, merry ground. One guy has to lock into them to free them. So these two guys here might be stuck there for quite a while. Absolutely fine. I've got five more bugs than I've got merry go round slots. So there's three on each slot. And I've got four merry go rounds there. So no more than 12 bugs could actually be stuck in a merry go round. And certainly I've actually got five bugs here that are just stuck because one guy went on its side. I'm going to be very nice to them and feed them in. None of them are actually being kicked out. I don't think that's fair. There's a right bucket. Got myself kicked out, however. Let's get him back in play. Okay, not too many ones are getting trapped in here for very long. I thought I'd have a, a few more. Some of the pre-trial games where I was testing the truck out. I've got a few bugs trapped in around the, uh, the drummer. And these guys are on springs who are uh, being jostled around quite merrily by the, uh, by the impact of the bugs hitting the drum. Not so today. Okay, we've got one petrol blue, one of my favourite bugs. I really like this colour. They come inside, the only way I've seen them is they come inside the um, storage box boxes that you get to keep the uh, yellow bugs in. I've got three of them now. I've got quite a few bugs, so uh, I've needed to get a, a third. And that reminds me, when I'm going to start doing all my videos at some point, I'm going to give you, lucky person who ever in in first, a hex bug nano code, because I don't actually do this on the website, I don't collect the codes. So we've got a black bug. <laughs> 50 to go back. So we've got here a code NT hyphen I W Y N hyphen W E B B. I'll read that once more. Got a touch of blue that didn't make it. That is NT hyphen I W Y N hyphen W E B B. So good luck to whoever gets that into their uh, hex bug nano website. Hexbug code entry. I know some of you guys like the codes and like to collect them. And it just happens to be one thing I don't do. So uh, I'm more than happy to give them away. And uh, what I'm going to try to do is give one away. That's pretty flat. That's pretty flat. Just checking on the batteries here. What I'm going to try to do is to give one away in all my future Hexbug videos going into 2013. So um, the first person that gets that code and sometimes I do it in the early part of the video, sometimes right at the end, just so you don't know where it is. We encourage the guys that are watching it to be the ones that are more likely to get the code, because I think they're, they're the ones that are real die-hard fans, and I think they're the ones that deserve these codes. But it's just a code to uh, to give away rather than me throw it away and waste it. So um, I've got quite a few stacked up, so certainly the next several videos, like as they're going to 2013, will all have a code, and I'll release them one at a time as I go through the, uh, the weeks of the year. Okay, I'm uh, looking for my third one up, I'm not getting one. We've got ourselves a grey here. 50 50, and he's uh, got it wrong already. I'm going to ju just sort out a few of the bugs on the sides now, just to help. We've got quite a few guys in the merry go round, we've got quite a few guys jostling on their sides, and we'll just give them all a little help here for the last final third guy. There's a lot on the sides in the playground as well, which are unintended bugging me a little bit. Let's just get them reset back on their feet. Feed them in slowly, they, uh, they're less likely to just crash and go uh, straight on the sides again. Okay, we've got one old blue and a petrol blue in the final side. I think these uh, deterrent wings have really worked, trucked too well. I think the bugs just really do are much more likely to hit something and not reflect into here. And uh, even though when I filed this and tested this a couple of times before I made this video, I got three winners through within the first 10 minutes. I think it's highly unlikely. Let's just, uh, let's just give that white guy one more chance. And a lot of them have gone straight back to the beginning. Okay, we've got a yellow in there now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up a little bit, taking out two of the flippers. I'm going to leave the centre pin in, but again, it's just to stop the straight through hex bugs. These guys are quite a bit stuck as well. There's a wedge going on here. Let's just get this brown, my newest brown bug. 
or this heat. So those are the flip gates that I have in the end cell, but one could well have been the problem. This crambo just doesn't want to play. There we go, that's better, that's better. Those guys pretty well got the one. And uh, certainly as you can see, by the number of flip gates and pins and pegs I've got in the middle there, you really can't use um, all of them. Perhaps if I had one large, huge playground area, then I could. That red bug over there is very slow. You might have come out of your flat. He's uh, really struggling. Um, but you certainly can't have too many of these pins and lugs, especially in single cells, because they, uh, as you can see here, when you get a few bugs together, it gets in their way. And I'm plugging a couple of here just to help finish the, uh, the final third bug. We're looking for a third winner. I would have thought the battery would have, uh, would have encouraged them out. Let's get these guys out of that corner. Let me just break these guys up. Let me go the wrong way. That guy is uh, pushing along with this grey lime green centre. Really helping him along. We've got four bugs now in the end cell. One in six. One in five actually, sorry, there is a an exit block. One in five and they'll go down the right way. And they're all choosing to uh, move back to the end. So I've got a bit of jam here. This purple one is trying to go that way and it's stopping the others proceeding. So we have still a situation here. Let's try and clear that green a little white and the other one to go that way. So let's let him. Okay, this red is pretty flat. I think he's coming out. In the flat pile as opposed to a dead bug pile. Okay, right, a touch of blue. End cell. These are guys I root for at the moment. That's my favourite bugs. 50 50, he's got it wrong. I'm also to see something with the brown who stands out. It's quite distinct because he's the only one of that colour that I've got. And I've also got a couple of other bugs that I've only got a single coloration of. So there's a couple of blues you've got halfway. And you can see you've got the flags. And that's some of the oranges. I've got two oranges of purple in, but I've got an orange with an orange centre. And it's just here on the main ground. And uh, again, that orange with orange, um, it's quite rare. Certainly in all I've got. Don't see many of them in the videos that I've watched on YouTube. I don't really know the rarity state of those ones because I don't do the codes. I've got a lot of the bugs that are the same as you can see. This black one's actually one of the... Uh, no it's not, I thought it was one of the racing bugs. And I don't think it is actually a racing bug because they're actually um, different colours. They're actually red and blue. I'm trying to see whether I've got any of the racing bugs in the player colour. In fact, all the racing bugs. Yep, that red there is a red one racing bug. Let's just check the blues. Not the regular. I've got a racing bug in play as well, and actually the racing bugs, because the uh, Xbox Nano Raceway set is now pretty much unavailable at the end of 2012, they might re-release it with the contract system in turn, I don't know. Um, then the Xbox Nano bugs that I think are going to be the rarest are going to be the racing bugs, because you just cannot get them except in that set. So I've got six of those, I haven't had three racing Nano sets in my time. I think this is going to only cause trouble. We're going to end up on the floor. So I'm putting them right back in the beginning. That yellow bug is rather flat. He's uh, slowed down by the uh, snowman. Okay, I'm going to put these guys on their sides. Sorry, the ones that are on the sides on their feet. Just to uh, help along. There's a few of the bugs that are getting pretty flat now. This is a good little uh, battle going on here. That person is not letting anybody pass. He's doing a real you shall not pass there. And I'd really like to leave him alone but I think I'm going to have to help free that log jam. So uh, unfortunately I'll let the purple into the cell and let's just mix these guys up a little bit. Let's get a few feeding them around and uh, let's see what they do. Well, quite a full merry-go-round there. 
that orange plug that went through earlier, he's been in there quite a while. So um, he absolutely adores just going around in circles. And some bugs absolutely will. They need to push out sometimes. The really, really feisty fresh bug bugs, fresh battery bugs, will often not stay in there very long. And what you'll find is the very, very flat battery bugs, and there we have a flat battery, um, obviously won't stay in there very long either. But the ones that are just in the middle, that are just, you know, they, they've been running that back for a while, look at this red bug here. And guess what? We have a red raceway bug, third place winner. Fantastic. He went in there with a slightly depressed battery going on, but he certainly was a winner. So we have one of my oldest blue bugs, Literally the oldest bug I've got is a blue bug and a, and a black bug, and he is one of my oldest, he's, he's a regular winner. A yellow standard Newsome, I believe that is, and a red raceway bug. There's the face festive maze challenge. The bugs have done it, fantastic. I think the food helped. Not sure the angry robot Santa did, and uh, the guys all need a bit of a battery change and a rest. And thank you for watching. Come back into New Year. We've got another, unbelievably, Another red raceway bug winner. These two guys really want their batteries. Fourth place, I don't normally let the uh, game go on that long. Probably going to get a fifth once I just finish. So again, thank you for watching. 